when you apply a filter to a list of data, as I'm doing here on this worksheet called text filter, Excel recognizes the kind of data that you have in a column. For example, if I click the drop arrow for department here, you will see the term text filters. This is a numeric field that's going to say numeric filters. And we see these choices off to the right related to text type entries. So if, for example, if we wanted to find departments that might have the word training in them, and let's say we don't necessarily know if there's one or more of those, we could, using one of these options, and in this case it would be contains, this brings up the custom auto filter all set up for us. We'll just type in train. And if I'm thinking maybe train, training, possibly plural, I might just put in the word train, see what happens, click OK. And it looks like we've got training appearing in two different names here. That's certainly one use of this. Take another example. Let's bring back all the data by clicking the clear button just to the right of filter. And consider another option here under text filters. Sometimes we know that we want all departments here that do not contain a certain entry. So if we wanted to see the non-training departments, now we've already figured out, let's say that we see training here. Let's put in training here. And now we will get a list of all departments that do not contain the word training. I think you can imagine different kinds of situations here. It looks, as we look down the left-hand side, like most of the data is still there, but because the row numbers are blue, that suggests that some information is not being shown here. So as we look at this list, we are not seeing the word training anywhere. And the lower left corner tells us that we're seeing 708 of 741 records. So it works that way too. Let's clear the data again and take a look at column A has employee names. Imagine we're trying to track someone down, and this person is named Rick. So we'll click the arrow here. And there are actually two ways to do this with a text entry. First way is the way I think most people would drift toward as we look at text filters. Now, if we're looking for the name Rick, in the background, the names are last name, comma, space, first name. So we can't say equals Rick. That would mean the entire cell would have to be R-I-C-K. It doesn't begin with Rick. It possibly ends with Rick. How about ends with Rick, R-I-C-K. And OK. And we have our list. And we probably are getting a few more names than we thought. The list is short enough. It probably wouldn't bother us. But with uh, much, much more data, possibly, we didn't quite narrow this down the way we might have wanted. So it's Rick and Patrick, and of course, these all do end in R-I-C-K, and maybe that's the Rick we were looking for. You quickly pick up on the idea of how these work. If we had used contains, that probably would have been almost as good. Text filters, how about contains? And if we choose Rick now, we'll get a few more entries, but not enough to worry about. And recognize here that it does contain Rick, and even in the name Strickland, we do see R-I-C-K within that. Now, here's a completely different approach. I'll bring back all the data. And sometimes this might be a little better. I wouldn't say it's better in this case. So clicking on the drop arrow again for employee name, there's a search panel right here. Now, as I type R, it's not obvious, but all the information below that consists of names that contain the letter R. And then as I add I, all of those contain an R-I, and then a C, and now the list is somewhat shorter, but all the names you see below contain R-I-C, and then K. Now, normally, if you use this approach, you're not pausing each time, but had we typed R-I-C-K this way, this is, in effect, the same as using the text filter that contains, but it's sometimes a faster way of getting to the data. And so in a real-life situation, I could click the drop arrow, type R-I-C-K, and enter. And there's our list. So that could be a, a tad faster at times. So using text filters, automatically sensed by Excel when you're using filtering, is a great tool for narrowing down certain kinds of lists like we're seeing here.